the Big 12 against the SEC. It's Arkansas, Texas A&M. Your preview brought to you by Tyson Anytizers. Glad to see you. I'm Lauren Sahadi alongside Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist. He joins us now. Dennis, Arkansas, Texas A&M at the new Cowboys Stadium. A lot of talk about this new stadium. You've been there. What's it like? Well, it's, it's like a uh, spaceship on Earth. Uh, 3,000 flat screen TVs alone in the stadium. We've all heard about the overhead uh, video board, which goes 60 yards long. Uh, it's only 90 feet above the playing field, as we found out. And you have people sitting there basically watching the board because, they, you know, it's, it looks like a home television to them. It's closer to the field than, than actually watching the game. So it's pretty impressive. They had 105,000 in there about 10 days ago for the Cowboys home opener. Big, big place. What about A&M? Are they going to be impressive in this next game? Coming in at 3-0, and a high-powered offense behind Jared Johnson. Nine touchdowns through the air, four on the ground. How good is this guy, Dennis? Yeah, one of the early surprises in the Big 12, uh, I think this is a prove-it game for them. I'm looking at their schedule. They've beaten New Mexico, Utah State, and UAB. So they take a, a leap up in competition right now. Um, and after Arkansas, they have Oklahoma State at Kansas State at Texas Tech, so it's going to be tough. They, they really have to get Arkansas here to prove they have turned the corner, but I really like Jared Johnson. They kind of featured him. Uh, he hasn't made a turn, hasn't thrown an interception yet. Um, they lead the, the Big 12 in several offensive categories, but we'll see. I, this, this is a good defense to get well against. They, the, the Arkansas defense, as we saw last week against Alabama, couldn't stop many people. Hey, you know what? Speaking of quarterbacks, though, Ryan Mallett of Arkansas, 6'7", 250 pounds. One of the few bright spots for the Hogs so far. How good is he? How will he fare in this matchup? I, I think he's great. And I think before he's done, he's going to be the top pro prospect in the SEC. Um, I saw him play last week, as I said, against Alabama. And I thought he was pretty good. He had guys not hold on to the ball. You have to remember, he was probably playing what a lot of people think is the best team in the country right now at their place. Now, I think he'll have a big day against a and which has not been great defensively lately. They have some weapons. D.J. Williams, the tight end. Michael Smith, the little running back who runs hard and tough. I think they'll gain big yards. I think they'll have a big game against a and Hey, Dennis, overall, we know Texas, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri. Could a and be a sleeper in the Big 12, or is it too soon to say that? Yeah, as I mentioned, those three games coming up after Arkansas, listen to the way things finish at Oklahoma, Baylor at home, and then Texas at home. So that, you know, their toughest games are almost at home late in the season. So they may be beat up by them. But we'll see. I think right now it's a huge positive they were going 4-8 and eight last year. It is an uphill battle for A&M 730 game time. This is your preview brought to you by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. We'll see you soon.